We are currently building this uh, WRC inspired polo that we bought three years ago. For you guys that are new to the channel, this is a quick recap what we have done from all the way from the beginning until now. It's me together with Pluppen as in picture here uh, that are currently building this uh, polo together. The engine we have is a Volvo four cylinder engine and a bunch of mods to it and we're going to build a custom oil pan for it also. We have a BMW M4 DCT gearbox behind the engine and in the back we got a Winters Quick Change rear axle. The whole frame is built custom by ourselves and all of the geometry is also from ourselves. We are currently uh, in the middle of doing the flooring in the front bumper. We are in a situation that it's, uh, everything is not clear at any, uh, any measures. Uh, we are struggling with uh, uh, to find uh, intercoolers or, and radi radiators that are in the correct measurements for the, th the application that we are needing. So we are taking some measurements and uh, how are we going to proceed, how we want to do with the angles, how we want to uh, release the air from the radiators. Um, and it's uh, a bit confusing because I don't have any uh, parts uh, that I can hold on to, maybe like figuring it out how I want it. Uh, I just need to find the stuff first uh, when it comes to the radiator stuff. And maybe have a, a bit of an understanding how I want to proceed. Do I want to have, want to have a standing intercooler and a leaning radiator uh, that are um, forced with air through the same channels? Do we want a separate part that takes uh, air to the separate to the intercooler and separate for the water? I don't know. Um, so we are, it's a bit tricky uh, for the moment. So uh, Pluppen is now uh, welding the back um, mountings for the flooring and uh, it will be uh, just a, a quite a simple uh, pipe going through these fittings here and then we will um, just mount it up from there with some um, some sort of um, arrangement uh, the tricky part is to also uh, come across a solution that will from the top go down as long ahead as we can so we have a, the best leverage that we can have so it becomes sturdy. Um, so that's what we are struggling, struggling with, with for the moment and uh, I don't have a clear solution to it so we have to uh, dig our uh, head, head in into that uh, problem and uh, yeah, sort it out, so uh, that's what we are going to do.
have been struggling a bit with uh, the mounting for the front end. Uh, yesterday we uh, uh, did all of the main work to get it, get it in line, but uh, today we have uh, get it mounted in the back. So we have uh, five or uh, six um, M5 uh, holes that are uh, into the, this pipe from beneath and we had uh, uh, screwed it so it, it's through the, the bottom. We thought that we were, now we are uh, close to, to have it uh, hanging in there by itself, but we don't. Uh, we have just been uh, uh, doing the pipes from the upper mounting, which will go from approximately here up to here. But we, uh, we knew that it wasn't going to be close to the steering rack, but it, it's becoming too close. So we have to redo or um, make uh, some minor adjustments to uh, this part that will be the, the mounting uh, to the frame rail. So we have to uh, length, uh, lengthen this pipe with approximately 50 millimeters uh, so we can mount with the same screw but uh, through that pipe instead. And then, when we have that, we are going to uh, come with this pipe uh, somewhere out here instead, and then go down to the, to the mounting in the bottom. So one step front, two steps back. <laughs> Another day in the workshop. As you may have seen in the previous episode, we have uh, talked a lot about the uh, carbon fiber stuff that we got from a guy called Martin. Martin from nugoway.com has provided us with uh, some serious nice uh, stuff when it comes to Polo VRX. He has provided us with some serious nice uh, carbon fiber stuff and he is actually here today because when we bought the initial uh, body kit for the car, we got like back fenders, we got front fenders, uh, bumpers front and rear and so on. But uh, the back fenders, uh, the quarter panels, uh, I believe they say in the US, uh, they were good uh, when it comes to all of the measurements where the actual wheel is aligned to the center line. So uh, on the back side it was very good, but on the front side it was way off, it's like 20 millimeters off. I don't know what that is in inch, but 20 millimeters is a lot. So we couldn't use them, so quite early we said that we have to do our own fenders. And uh, we left that project for the future, uh, when, uh, way back when we, when we actually saw that this is not going to work. But Martin then from Nugo Way uh, has uh, very nicely said that he wants to be a part of the project more than just providing us with nice parts. So he's actually right now as we speak in the background are currently uh, making drawings for the new fenders in the computer. We have 3D scanned the whole vehicle on the side just to make sure that he has something to work on in the, in the computer then. But nice to see how that develops uh, here uh, um, through the evening and into, next day, into the next day. And hopefully we have a design that are 
fully 100% done for uh, maybe do some uh, mock-up uh, 3D printed stuff. Because we actually have to, uh, before that we go through with the, the, the idea, we have to uh, make some 3D mock-up stuff to actually see if it's the idea is, is good in the, in the reality. And it looks uh, very good in, uh, in the computer, but it's a whole other game in the, uh, in the real world, so to speak. So that's very nice to, to see how that develops here. And as also, uh, under the, me the meantime, we have done some uh, minor changes and uh, improvements here on the front. We have, we have seen that when we are turning full lock, so to speak, we have seen some flex in this 8 mm thick aluminium plate. So therefore we have to make some um, adjustments to uh, uh, make it a bit stronger. So we have done a tube that will sit beneath these two points. So it will serve two purposes now. Uh, we will fix this point, so when we're taking off the front, we always know that this knot will go to flex or be in the wrong uh, position. So also, we have uh, on the lathe uh, done some um, tubing that we have welded to this pipe, and we're going to uh, have um, uh, fittings uh, all of these holes into the plate and uh, with that we like box uh, we will box it all in so this plate will not flex as much so it serve it will serve two purposes as and it will also look good and serve a good purpose uh, something more than that no I don't think that we have done more than that for the moment we are looking into uh, do some more tubing in, um, in the design for the not bash bar style but uh, the front section because we're going to have an, uh, a pipe that's uh, laying just beside the, the front end here um, to lock it all up and uh, make it sturdy because now it's kind of wobbly. Yeah, that's kind of like what's happening for the moment. Uh, we will eventually go into our intercooler and water radiator setup. That is a quite uh, advanced piece that we're going to do. So it will be quite a controversial uh, setup and we, I am quite sure that we are going to get a lot of questions in the, in the comments field. <laughs> Slowly, uh, we are going uh, coming to the end of this uh, episode. We have uh, in this episode uh, have uh, we have uh, done approximately 50% of this eternity project. Uh, everything takes time. This is one of them that does. Uh, but the good thing is that it uh, grows uh, to be a, a really nice piece. But we are approximately 50% done, so we got. Some uh, bits uh, left to, to make this uh, as we want. Uh, we have had Martin here from uh, Nugo that are, uh, being, have been helping us with the 3D scanning. And, and the main thing that he has in uh, this uh, project for now is that we have to do the front fenders. And uh, he uh, was here last week and we have uh, maybe come 90, 95% of the design. He just to have he has to have to do minor adjustments to the like minor stuff, but in all in all the the, the design is complete. Uh, 
One of the last things that we want to say is uh, congratulations to you that won the Jördim Ervi pol uh, polishing kit. We have uh, sent it like really long way from here. <laughs> And uh, hopefully you get the package in uh, one piece and uh, get to enjoy the, the stuff that you got from Jördi med RV. Uh, last but not least, I want also say that if you like the content that we are doing, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us a lot. And uh, if you uh, have some question about the project, please comment down below. And uh, yeah, uh, with that said, I would like to say goodbye and we see you in the next one.